and uh, everything else. Errol, Keith Thurman, number one, Errol Spence, number two, and everything else is debatable, man. I don't, I, I've, I've said it many, many, many times. I don't give Bud Crawford any um, credit at 147. What's up, Bud? What's good, son? Come on, G. Great performance. Salute, salute, salute three times for you, man. All the belts, greatness. What you do is greatness. But, you know, this is your man Thurman, bro. You know we go back. You know we go way back, boy. And I promise you, son, my face, my face, it won't look like that. Why, Keith? Why? Because my feet, my feet ain't flat. You know I can stick and move, boy. You know I can double pump fit just like you. Uh, Thurman different. Been different, boy. So there was a purse bid for Sir Kurt Stevenson and Frank Martin. That purse bid got canceled because both sides came to an agreement. The following day, Top Rank sent the contract. Then Martin's team was no longer interested. That is definitely a duck sandwich. After the other day, I was giving Frank Martin credit for stepping up. Shakur Stevenson is definitely going through what Terrence Crawford was going through at 147. Frank Martin and his team disappointed me. The only way that Frank Martin should be pulling out this fight is if he gets to fight with Javante Davis and we know Javante Davis does not fight anyone but Hispanics. So the next time you're talking about Shakur Stevenson not fighting anybody, let's look at the list of people Shakur wanted to fight. Pitbull, William Cepeda, Loma, Tank and Cambosis. Also, you can add to that list, Frank Martin. Obviously, Shakur Stevenson is the boogeyman at 135 pounds. And it looks like he's gonna have to fight Jermaine Artis or will Los Santos grow some nuts? Now, is Terrence Crawford looking past Spence and pushing for the Canelo fight? This would be the best thing for Errol Spence. This would probably give him better, a better chance to beat Crawford than his skill set. If Crawford is looking past Spence, this could be his chance to capitalize to make it a more competitive fight. And this can easily happen. You, get, you can get complacent because in the first fight after the second round, it seemed like Crawford had an easy time with Spence. Even though I know it wasn't easy because he had to train hard and, and do all the necessary things for this fight, it looked easy from a spectator. You know, some boxing insiders, even though they gave Crawford the credit for the victory, they did not think Spence looked like Errol Spence. And they believe at 154, it'll be a more competitive fight. And if Crawford does not have that mindset, then you know, things can happen. Another thing that's happening with Crawford, he's doing interviews with media now. He's going on Good Morning America and shows like that. He's been doing a tour for the last month. And some people like Jamel Charlo think Crawford is feeling himself too much. He's letting it go to his head. I don't know Crawford personally, but what I've seen, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think Crawford stays in the gym, he stays focused, and I think he knows if he doesn't beat Spence in the rematch, there is no Canelo fight. And on top of that, people think his victory over Spence is the flu. So I think Terrence Crawford is on a mission to make a statement. And who knows, maybe he'll stop Spence sooner this time. Crawford said himself, only got a few fights left. So when you got a few fights left, I think it's easier to concentrate and focus on your next fight. I would be very surprised if Terrence Crawford gets a lackluster performance against Spence because he looked past him. Anyway, that's my opinion. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.